Stand to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I cannot talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers just as the Lord assigned each one. I, each one. I planted, Apollos watered, I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who water is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nations who God is blessed, who God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne, he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. and to proclaim liberty to captives. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they had interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. 
she got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to her. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out, of, out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is never weary, even though there are times he probably was, but he was never weary to proclaim the God, God the Father's message, and it is through healing also. So we know that we come to him, even when we, there are days when we ignore him, he is always there to help us, to heal us, and to bring us closer to him. So today, let us thank God for his ever-presence and his kindness to us. God is a good God. And, and that's why in that Be Sponsor song, blessed the people the Lord has chosen, to ch chosen to be his own. We are his own. And that's why we must give him thanks for his ever-presence in our lives. Amen. Amen. We, have, we are chosen by God, but he, God has also chose Christ for us. He chose Christ for us to be with us, to lead us, to guide us, to heal us, and to hear all our every needs. And so let us turn to our God, offering our prayers and our petitions. For our universal church and all the leaders, that God may bless our church and bless our leaders to continue to bring healing and consolation, truth and justice to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis on his trip to Indonesia, that it may be a fruitful, blessful trip and for healing upon him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our parishes here, St. Cyprian, St. Ignatius, and all our parishes, that God may bless them and bring health, bring healthy, uh, development and healthy communication uh, communities in those parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For your intention. For all those suffering from mental illness, any type of physical abuse, we pray that they receive the help that they need and the guidance from God. So that the violence in our streets will cease and we find love and peace. And the hatred in the hearts of those continuously wanting to harm others, that they find love. So that we find a way to get rid of the gun and destroy our families, kill them by team bringing darkness to our city. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be our friends. Praying for all the many blessings God has given me and my family. We're praying for our, my sick family members here at my St. Tiffany Church, especially the deacon, um, you, Sister Julie, uh, Mr., all, everybody that needs a prayer. I'm praying for us to do a better job of taking care of the planet and God our decisions. I pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. I pray for my parents and Sophia family, all my neighbors. Also, I pray for all those in hospice and those who are in hospitals, especially those who have a serious illness. I also pray for all those in nursing homes and wherever there's conflict over the world, especially in the Sudan, Israel, and the Middle East, and in Ukraine. I pray to the Lord. Lord, Yeah. 
We give you thanks, Almighty God, for your presence among us. We thank you for hearing our prayers and all the other prayers that like to lift in our hearts, for all the prayers in the prayer petition basket. We pray that you will answer them. We make these prayers in your name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and all the holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have the Lord to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, demands, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraph will worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Those are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Those are in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, but this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints, and Cyprian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. The Holy Spirit of the world and my soul shall be here. pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we come to pray. And to God, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast in the of Satan and all evil spirits who crowd out the world, seeking the world of souls. Amen. Hope you have a great day in the blessed day.